Smart watches, smart locks, smart aquarium? Sooner or later, it seems like everything may end up smarter than we are. Is that so bad? What kinds of hidden dangers may lurk inside the so-called Internet of Things? What about security? For just one example, how can we make sure our credit card passwords aren't stolen simply by hacking into something like a smart aquarium? Come on! To get the answer, we went to the LinkedIn conference, The Future of Connected Data. Of course, it's always nice to have all the tedious stuff done by the machines instead of by us. But there may be a price to pay. The convenience that the Internet of Things will bring may put our most sensitive and confidential information at risk. IoT devices are already a favorite target of DDoS attacks. An analysis by Symantec shows that 26% of those attacks occur in the good old USA. That's risky. Even companies, like, look at what happened with the Equifax. They have the key information of people's lives and they lost all of it. So what happens then when that information includes things like where you've been every day this week and how you set the temperature in your house and maybe what activities you do in your own home? It starts to get a little bit scary. But what's the problem? Why so many attacks on IoT devices? We asked the security experts. A lot of very simple designs have been made to solve security problems for simple things. You know, if you're, you know, a door lock is a fairly classic design. In many cases, pretty hard to foil. If you make it electronic, you introduce new ways for people to get around existing security measures. Anytime you're connecting devices, you're adding new entry points for bad actors. And so traditional methods of security need to be enhanced. And if a uh, the lock on my door isn't working. If I'm fairly handy, there's a good chance I can I can fix that. If the lock on my door is failing to connect to a server that's not connecting to my phone. Frequently, when IoT devices are successfully hacked, both the developers and the users share the blame. The developers may have made errors in writing the code. The users may simply not know how to operate the system properly, making them subject to attacks. Security is a huge thing that a lot of people fail in doing correctly. So security, at a basic level, it, it, think about all of this, the IT, the solutions we're building, as a cake. And that cake needs to be baked with the right ingredients. Security is a core ingredient that people forget about. They sprinkle it on top when they're done. Oh, it's a security. And that's the wrong way to do it. You have to think about security first and foremost. This has caused many firms to become more proactive when it comes to security issues. As a result, we hope the situation improves quickly. If the government buys a product, it can't have that minimum level. It has to be secure for them to ever buy it. And now in the US, they're starting to say, OK, now we've got to do this thing called Cyber Shield. So that means over the next year, they're going to put together a task force to figure out the minimum requirements for IoT and for privacy and security. The Internet of Things is an incredibly useful technology. In spite of multiple problems with privacy, it's not going away. That's because it vastly improves productivity and profitability in both businesses large and small. They've simply got to learn how to solve the hacking issue. External facing for small businesses depends on the field you're in. It could be a plumber, so sort of classic small business, thinking about are there any devices you can add to things you've done work on, like if you've replaced a water heater, that help you understand if there are problems so that you can reach out to the client. So if you go to even really small businesses, I think in the not so distant future, we're going to see these things bleed into all types of businesses to help reduce the friction of human intervention on these types of problems. And, uh, and it's really exciting. It's only going to become more pervasive. The challenge on the other side of it is everything's going to be measured. And how do we feel about that? Given the proven increase in efficiency it brings to business, experts agree that the future is almost impossible to imagine without the Internet of Things. One of the most basic ones actually is a smart car. A, a self-driving car is using a lot of IoT because it's got all these sensors, both the sensors that are in the car, the sensors that are in the other car. All of these things is a great example of IoT, Internet of Things, these things working together to actually solve the problem of taking this 3,000 pound projectile and keeping it in safe areas.
Maybe very soon, assuming the security problems can be solved, machines will act autonomously with greater frequency, aiding humans in a myriad of ways. In the future, it's going to be a different story altogether. We're going to be a lot more with the, the density of our population, a lot more kind of seamless experiences for humans will happen. I guess it, it goes back to, 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 again, in the IoT space for connected products in the data center, I think the what, what you're going to start seeing is a lot more of these product vendors really trying to move towards more artificial intelligence and adding that value back to their, sorry, back to their to their customers and you know that that you'll start seeing an evolution of doing what we you know what we've done in the past with eliminating of you know, support people and so on and really getting the, the machines themselves to, to do more and more for the human sounds sweet to us what do you think will the hacking problem be solved how important is iot going to be in our daily life i'm jack hamlin jim hunter rod bag for wow tech now have a great day share your opinion in the comments section and stay tuned by subscribing. Don't forget, hit the like button if you like this one. See you soon.